seems to agree with human Kant. But if his introduction of animal faith is to be taken as a re-examination of the influence of the skeptical conclusion from Hume's doctrine, then skepticism and animal faith from Descartes to Kant. 183. He, as his second doctrine, But it feels away from the critical examination of our sources of information and Kant, although differing from them in every In view of the anti-rationalism of practice, it is very difficult to understand except as another example of anti-rationalism. Objection entertained by him and by his followers to the anti rationalistic basis of some form of this strain of anti rationalism introduced into philosophy marks the final triumph of the anti rationalistic reaction against the rationalism of the Middle Ages. Pushing explanation to its utmost limit. Yeah, who hopes to attain final clarity in his analysis of the source from metaphysics was, so far, an answer. But Hume, in so far as he is to be construed as remaining content with two uncoordinated sets of beliefs, one based on sources of knowledge, and the other on the uncritical examination of reaches the high water mark of anti-rationalism. Explanation is the analysis of coordination. Section B. The process whereby an actual objective content attains its individual satisfaction.
my hypothesis is the objective content of the body. The compatibilities and incompatibilities which impose the perspective of the actual world into the datum are inherent in the nature of things. Thus the selection is a selection of relevant eternal objects. into its complete determination as a factor. The problem which T the compressant solved is, have a many components, the content are to be unified in one felt content with its complex objective. This one felt content is the satisfaction, whereby the actual entity is its particular individual self, to use Descartes' phrase, requiring nothing but itself in order to exist. In the conception of the actual entity in this phase of satisfaction, the entity has received an individual separation from other things. It has absorbed the data, and it has back to the decision, whereby its appetition becomes an element in the hand of other entities receiving it. Time has stretched so it only is time. The whole process is the admission of eternal objects in their new role of investing the individuality of the subject. The datum. Many individualities of the actual world. These many individualities are subordinate contributors to the individuality. The process of myth or reject ST function into the subjective forms of the many feelings. The attainment of satisfaction relegates all the Of. Here is the terminus of definiteness in the subjective form of the death. The of contrary to the eternal object which is us felt. Thus all the determinations respecting the potentialities of the universe and death so far as concerns the satisfaction of the subject in question. into a series of subordinate phases which presuppose their antecedents. Neither the intermediate phases, nor the datum which is the primary phase of all, determine the final phase of determinate individualization. Thus an actual entity, on its subjective side, is nothing else than what the universe is for it, including its own reactions. into definite and An actual entity achieves its own unity by affecting every item of the datum. Every individual objective of the datum has its perspective defined by its own eternal object and their own relevance compatible with the relevance of other objectification. And each such complex of objectification in the pattern is meant to correspond to feeling with its determinate subjective form in Telvinus. From Descartes to Kant, 155 million satisfaction. The philosophies of substance presuppose the datum and then reacts to the datum. Met with feelings and progressively attains the unity of the subject. But with this doctrine, superject would be a better term than the subject. Locke's ideas of reflection are so far as they have entered into consciousness. It is by reference to the notion of immediacy obtains its meaning. The mere objectification of actual entities by eternal objects lacks immediacy. It 
competition, and this is a contrary to the media. 235 but process. Subjective immediacy in this way repetition and transforms it into immediate self-satisfaction into subjectivity. It is near the analysis of THC construction of an acid experience with cancer. In the first place, can't acid experience is essentially knowledge. Thus, whatever is not knowledge is necessarily in poet, and merely on its way to knowledge. In comparing Kant's procedure with that of the philosophy of Orient, apparent, objective content is the end of Kant's process, and thus takes the place of satisfaction in the process of analyzing the philosophy of Orient. In Kant's phraseology at the beginning of the narration, apparent, subjective content is referred to as object. He also accepts Hume's sensationalist account of the datum. Sentence at the commencement of the critique, objects therefore are given to us. Sensibility alone supplies a certain become thought through the understanding and hence arise from that. Six, this is expanded later in a form which makes Kant's adhesion to Hume's doctrine of the category. And here we see that the impressions of the senses were the first impulse to them, and thus produce experiences consist of two very elements, namely, matter for knowledge, derived from the sense of mind and aetherized verb in the thousand synon, and a certain form according to which it is derived from the internal source of pure intuition and pure thought, first brought into action by the world, and then producing concepts point seven also. Intuitions without concepts are blind. Point eight. Six inches your middle spear symbol skate also word of Stick out one eye leaper done dance down. Introduction, sex, come on, after 56, discussions and applications. In this class, statement of philosophy of organism is in agreement with Kant. It is agreed that the functioning of concepts is an essential factor in knowledge, so that intuitions without concepts are blind. But for Kant, apart from concepts there is nothing to know, since objects related in a knowable world are the product of conceptual functioning whereby categories form in the universe into the sense of atoms, which otherwise is intuited in the form of a mere spatial temporal flux of sensation. Knowledge requires that the by conceptual functioning, whereby the flux is understood as connected to the Thus, for Kant, the process whereby there is an experience is a process from subjectivity to apparent objectivity. The organism inverts his analysis and explains the process of objectivity to subjectivity, namely, from the objectivity. Subjectivity, whereby there is one individual experience. Thus, according to the philosophy of the experience, there are 
collection of anatomical experiences. Transforming subjectivity into objectivity. Objectivity into subjectivity. Order is immaterial in comparison with the general idea. We find the first beginnings of the notion in Locke and in Hume. in its correct order, at least in the view of the philosophy of organism. But the whole notion is only vaguely and inadequately conceived. The first week of the notion is musicon. The second half of the modern philosophical thought is to be dated from Hume and Kant. Development of cosmology has been hampered by the structure of the other, a free misconception. I discovered the the sensationalist doctrine of perception. The doctrine of the objective world is a construct from subjective experience. The combined influence of these allied errors has been to reduce philosophy. Formation of contemporary modes of thought. It is the ominous appeal to it, practicing it in criticism of this premise and in its conclusion. Bradley, who repudiates me, finds the objective world in which we live, and who, and have our being, taken as Ray One. Neither side can fully the world of daily experience. Chapter 7, The Subjectivist Principle, Section I. 238, I see it impossible to scrutinize too carefully the character to be assigned to the experience. The whole philosophical system depends on the doctrine of impressions of sensation, I will call one part of his doctrine, the subjectivist principle, and the other part, the sensation. It is usual to combine the two under the sensationalist doctrine, the two principles are really in For instance, are not equally consistent in their adhesion. Philosophy of organism denies both of these doctrines. Considered in this chapter, though it accepts a reform subjective principle G. Sex, VT below and part two. Locke accepted the sensationalist principle and was inconsistent in his statement accepting the subjectivist principle. With the exception, he accepted the latter in the first two books of his epic, but persistently in the third and fourth books. The for reason accepted the subjectivist principle and rejected the sensationalist principle. The sensationalist principle requires dominating importance subjectivist principle be accepted. And the reminder is the basis of his contribution to philosophy. The history of modern philosophy is the story of attempts to evade and the consequences of the subjectivist principle explicitly or implicitly accepted. The great merit of human of 239 on the The subjectivist principle is that the datum in the act of experience can be adequately analyzed purely in terms of the universal. The sensationalist principle is that the primary activity of the of experience is the bare subjective entertainment of the datum. This is the doctrine of mere sensation. 
Subjectivist principle follows from three premises. Substance quality, the concept of expressing the ultimate ontological principle. The acceptance of Aristotle's definition of a primary substance. The is never a predicate. Eat the assumption that the experience of is a primary substance. The first premise states that the final metaphor is always to be expressed as 157. Discussions and applications. A quality The second premise provides qualities and primary substances in terms of classes. The two premises together are the foundation of the distinction between universals and particulars. On which this distinction is founded. The ultimate classes of entities mutually exclusive. Actual entities, which in the philosophical tradition are misdescribed as particular and the other. Class consists of forms of Here named, eternal objects, which in comparison.